Hi there, and welcome to City Bus Percent. It's a variant of the All Races speedrun that I've just kind of come up with. Uh, and it's it's a meme run. It's kind of, well, it's a meme run or a fun run, depending on how you look at it. Um, but it's going to be completing all of the uh, races uh, in the campaign with a city bus instead of using the fastest vehicles in the game you're using the slowest so I'm gonna do this in the same order that you'd normally do the all races run so London checkpoint London circuit London blitz San Francisco check uh, sorry San Francisco circuit San Francisco checkpoint San Francisco blitz to end it off now this has to be done on a pre-existing player account um, because Past a certain point, you wouldn't be able to unlock more checkpoint races uh, and different things, uh, and it would be impossible to progress in, in the game otherwise. Uh, so similarly, uh, I'm going to straight up fail some Blitz races, uh, and I'm going to likely come last in quite a, a few of the races, so it's just going to be about finishing the races um, as quickly as possible rather than uh, winning and, and, and timing it that way. So, um, without further ado, let's get going. Now if you win, you'll get a big so for the most part, I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to be using this camera, the front-facing uh, camera, uh, as much as possible, rather than the chase cam. And that's just so I can kind of uh, see where I'm going. Because you don't get a whole lot from that, at least in terms of directly in front of you. This one's okay, but it's still a little challenging sometimes to kind of know when to turn in. But I'll use that camera when I want to get a push. Uh, that's for sure. Come on now, get yourself to the finish. Good bit of saving in that. So a quirk of. <laughs> You might have noticed there that I had to manually split, and that's because when you don't win a race, actually, the Nilaki's auto splitter doesn't um, doesn't trigger the split end. So I'll probably lose a little bit of time doing that, but it's it's a fun run. Uh, who really cares? And overall, the the auto splitter tool fantastic. It's really uh, it's equalized the playing field, and it's 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 made this. Uh, like a really interesting game to to continue speedrunning. So a little bit about the city bus. There's only a few ways to make this thing turn um, half decently. Uh, copious amounts of handbrake usage, which you might have saw me do there. Uh, smashing into a wall keeps a little bit more speed than using the handbrake actually, but when there's not really an available it's wall or when there's obstacles the in the line. way like traffic or um, or different like light posts and stuff uh, you'll want to hit the handbrake instead I think um, when possible I might try and yeah get some pushes from the AI cars Sometimes that'll be doable. Most of the time it won't be. Getting a good push from the cab. Get out of the way, jeez. So I chose the uh, the orange Motocross Madness scheme because Motocross Madness was actually my very first uh, video game that I played as as a kid. Played it when I think I was two or three years old at a at a family friend's and got hooked. And then Midtown Madness too. I guess it wasn't a whole lot after that for me. I'm only, uh, well, I'm coming up on turning 23, so I was about three, I think I was three when Midtown Madness 2 came out, and I maybe got it when I was four, or maybe even before I turned four. So. 
discovered the speedrunning community for this game uh, at the tail end of last year and figured I could give it a go. At that point, it was uh, a bunch of people had hunted the individual levels, but it was uh, Chief's Guide um, from Turkey and Muria from Greenland uh, that were the kind of the full um, the full game runners at that point. That was an example of a good wall hit. I lost almost zero speed. That's an example of a bad wall hit because there was a light post in between and those seem to affect you much more than walls, surprisingly. Hey, keep pushing me, cabby. Don't pay you for nothing. Final checkpoint. So yeah, there's probably going to be a, a lot of uh, just kind of relaxing, going straight. It's definitely a less stressful run, especially after uh, finishing off the... Uh, just barely getting the uh, the all races uh, world record so that was uh that was a 118 55 I think uh, I, my goal for this run I'm, I'm really not hundred percent sure what to expect because it's well it's obviously a lot slower in a straight line but it's also slower in the corners and I might have to come up with some kind of unique strategies for for certain courses that that might be particularly tricky with this. So I'm a, I'm gonna guess two hours, um, but it could be longer. Uh, in, in fact, I think it's probably more likely to be longer than that than shorter than that. Uh, definitely by two and a half, it'll be done. But we'll we'll say that's my starting estimate and see how it goes. I guess. So this isn't an approved speedrun category yet, and I don't necessarily expect it to be. This is just kind of a, a fun run. Allow me and others to, to sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the game, I guess, as it wasn't meant to be played. <laughs> Hey, can I get some push? Oh. Oh. Ti so much time loss. <laughs> As if that really matters. Get out of the way. Man, this thing just puns double to Eckers. Like they're a, like they're a football. Checkpoint. Ah, the light tactical vehicle. It's actually a pretty neat one. Uh, can I win this one? It's gonna be a drag race. Oh! I'm so used to going back and switching cars, I almost did it there. Uh, it took me a little, about half a second longer to split, so it's because I was so focused on the uh, truck there. But yeah, from here on in, at least for the uh, the London checkpoint races, not going to come top three. Uh, definitely not going to win. So. Weird. Again, my instinct is to 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 go to avoid that curb, but that's not necessary. Let's deja vu it into. Uh, a little too late on the handbrake there. Lost uh, lost a lot of speed, and speed is everything with this. You you have to <laughs> to drive this even moderately quickly. You have to uh, be like 
ridiculously consistent and keep all the speed that you possibly can at all times. Who's behind me? Do I have an Aston Martin behind me? Hey. Yes. Oh, the speed. Hitting the blistering heights of 95 miles an hour. Get out of the way. I want to beat you now. No, go pull out. Yeah, I got him. I don't think, unless I'm mistaken, Aston Martin doesn't make any cars with V12s anymore, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot to split. Oh well, there we go. This track uh, is brutal, though, during the, the regular all-races run, because it's so damn foggy, you can only see, like, I don't know, 20 meters in front of you. Um, lots and lots of curbs uh, to avoid. Trees uh, are brutal when you're going 150 miles an hour. guess I could have gone for a wall hit there. That probably would have been the better way to do it, but so it goes. You kind of just got to memorize where the sharp turns are. Like there's one now. And then it's the right, and you got the cars on the left, which I just... I think I went over them, like a monster truck there. And then you have to strategically figure out which curb to go over here. And I, for the life of me, I cannot get this curb right. I think it's like going no, through that center bit, like the edge that you, you want to go to avoid issues, but... If you don't feel the breeze under your kilt, you're not going fast enough! What do you mean you're not wearing a kilt? So I'd already be done. <laughs> the checkpoint races in a panel GTR 1 run. Oh man, this route's gonna be... I don't know how... Yeah, I might have to change up how I do this. Because normally you do a U-turn at the fifth checkpoint. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around the long way because there's no way I'm uh, handbraking this. Kind of like, uh, check this. I had to go around the long way rather than spin it around. I don't think you could even fit the thing sideways, or maybe just barely. Let me see. Eh, maybe you could fit it sideways, but you'd probably end up in an Austin Powers type situation. Uh, I think I've gone the wrong way, but that's okay. Right, I won that one, so I actually have to back up the split there. I won that one? Jesus. Those AI suck. <laughs>
I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this work. Thanks, Aston Martin. I didn't really... Bruh. Yeah, it might be a completely different route that's faster here with the bus. Um, stop. Oh my god. Police are vicious. Get wrecked. Might as well get my phone out. Because this one's going to be a lot of straight lining. in the way. I'll have to handbrake it. So much loss speed. Devastating. The slalom. So, I was thinking about uh, the possibility of somehow making this uh, work for the crash course category as well, but I don't think it's doable because the crash course yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to get to 40. Uh, or, like, maintain 40. Uh, or 50. For the different challenges. And some challenges have a time limit, which... Good luck. Oh, yeah, like, especially the, uh, the J-turn ones? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna do that in a bus, are ya? have a discord message that I'm trying to check but gotta keep my eye on traffic this is why you don't text and drive kids oh it's just uh, okay good old group chats or like uh, pings from discords sure how long it's going to take me to finish this one. A minute and a half, I'd say. Oh, this is a tricky one, because I don't know whether I'm going to, like, if I go normally with the panel GTR1, to be just to be conservative, you go off to the right, and you, you swing it to keep more speed. Obviously, that would help a little bit with this thing, um, but I, I think I should be able to make the corners, and then... Uh, turn at the end with maybe some help from the handbrake and it might not uh, lose me too much speed. If not, I guess it'll be uh, some time to gain from the for the next person. So yeah, I lost, what, 20, 25 miles an hour there? So I guess the question is, like, would this straight have been long enough? It might be very close, actually, whether or not it would have been long enough to, to make up the extra time that you'd take in the longer but faster, uh, but, like, uh, higher average speed. Bruh, stay on your wheels, come on. What was that, like an oil can? Jesus. Oh, I, oh it's, a gar it's a garbage or something. What they got in London? Jeez. I'm just a English colonial living in Canada. What am I supposed to know about England? That's how you so... 
So, after checkpoints, how far back of the panel's GTR1 am I? That's a full almost seven minutes in a in what would be an eleven minute thing. Yikes. Should be able to beat these minis. I'm gonna just get an external view so I can see where the hell they are. Going around the bus shelter like Oh, look at this. Should be an easy win. Now get to the finish line, mate. You are right. The oh shit, I won that one. Whoops. Uh, back up. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I ended up actually having to reset uh, my initial run because I goofed up my splits and I didn't know what my uh, go back or forward buttons were for splits because I'd never used them. Uh, <laughs> so I ended up having to kind of reset and uh, figure out what they were. I guess uh, all things considered, I could have uh, I could have just taken a 10 seconds or so to figure them out uh, live, and that realistically, that's <laughs> this isn't a serious run, but. I was only a few minutes in, so figured I might as well do it. Now, if I can win this one, uh, it'd be pretty sad because I mean, he turned right in front of me. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Like, he had the inside line, and then he turned left in front of me. I didn't mean to end that man's whole career, but it had to happen. Oh, hitting, almost hitting the blistering heights of a hundred not anymore. Um, okay, let's get back on. Seconds attainable. Don't know about that first place cab. Gonna have to uh, really motor, and he might need to make a mistake or two. drink. But yeah, I'm surprised I'm keeping up so well, especially on a track. Like, this is a pretty fast circuit. Like, I imagine with the GTR1, you're averaging easily 150, 160. Uh, but then again, you lap them in a two-lap race. Or part of the field in a, in a two-lap race in the GTR one, so... I guess it makes sense, but... Oh, this is gonna be brutal. This tra It's so technical. Even with the GTR one, this one's a pain. Uh, Will I be able to beat these guys? If I remember correctly, they usually finish after about... 4 minutes 10, 4 minutes 15 seconds. So I can either do 205 laps to win. I only know that because I was just seeing, just out of curiosity, seeing how fast I could do this race in, in a in a cab uh, and I did a 335 no a 30 no memory's hard a 305 yeah Three oh five fifty was the time, so I had about a half a lap on the field, but yeah, I actually seem to kind of know what they're doing on this one. They're not breaking at random points, the AI. Now they also don't know the uh, the cuts. 
the strats. I throw on the mirror. Oh, okay. I hit the wall with the back and it tipped me there. Oh, look at that cut. <laughs> well, don't think I'm going to be able to win this one. The 221 first lap's uh, a smidge slower. Did that cab just uh, wreck himself trying to get around me? Okay. Turn! Okay. Every wall, but I'm still in fourth gear. Surprising amount of damage that I've collected, probably just from hitting every wall known to man. But. Gotta get the cuts. Might be able to get a top three here. Uh, I don't know. We're coming into the technical part, though. We'll see. A couple of dabs of the handbrake. Oh! You're at third? Literally? A lot of the cars here out of the way. Now go full out for the finish. It's all right. Third. I will take that. Technically a success. It'd be enough to unlock the next set of races. Well, uh, along with the rest of them. I don't know whether I'll be able to win this one though. So again, a pretty fast track. The AI missed a pretty significant cut, though, so... Who knows? Might balance out. Where's the AI? I need a push. Oh, the Mini was already up alongside me. Rude. Hey. Hey. He's trying to deke. How dare you. Get push. He's uh, pretty persistent on not giving me a push. It's pretty rude. All right, coming through. Cut their first lap, right? I must have. If I didn't, that's a pretty big missed opportunity. Ow. It's weird just actively aiming yourself at a wall. Push. Oh man, I'm goofing them up. Slowing them down. <laughs> Give him this. Wait, I'm catching him a little on the straight. What the heck? He must really slow down for that turn or something.
Oh yeah, we're gonna win this one. Get in there, Lewis. Sip of the drink. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Worth it. Hit a hundred on the way to the line. Now it's a race for the finish line. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. I hmm. <sighs> think the down. classic route here rather than the um, the cut is probably gonna be the faster way to go because there's a wall to crash into. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use so much handbrake that I'm pretty much going to need to come to a stop in one of the turns. So, we'll see. I missed a shift. Just in time to make a turn. I'm trying to keep this mini off the racing line. I feel like this is the way to go. <laughs> Gotta do those micro strategies. It's definitely relevant in a run like this. Mistimed it. Man, half an hour in and I'm on city circuit. Brutal. Especially like London Run. Give me some. Oh, give me some royalties. Isn't too long. Um, London Run is though. Eh, no, they're about the same length now. That I think about it. Zany zigzag. It's gonna be. A hefty one. That one alone is going to take me several minutes longer. I guess I could have went for a wall hit there rather than the handbrake, but it worked. Now there you don't want to end up in that gap, so I definitely use the handbrake just to get a little more turn in. Now it's a race to the finish line! First place in all of the... No. I was third in view from two bridges. But other than that, first in all the circuits so far. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. Because, well, it's, it's still faster to remain above ground. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to swing the bus around, though, at a, uh, at a 180 degree angle too well. But... Give it a go. I'm going to go external view just so I can see where the front and back of the bus ends up so I can kind of plan out what I'm going to do for the remaining two laps. Jeez. Well, bruh. Got some time loss. Oh, okay. So yeah, if you stop, you can get you can turn the bus on and on its axis, and I think that might honestly be the way to go. Is ram into the wall purposefully, turn at 180, and keep going, something like that. 
Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to win this one, but... Bruh. No! Oh. That's the strat, though. I mean, I, I tested it unintentionally there. But that barrier, I wouldn't have expected it to mess up a, a big vehicle like the bus that much, but sometimes I guess it'd be like that. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try and head on. Thanks for the help. I might have just accidentally wrecked him. No, oh, okay. Well, accidentally used. Oh, to look at this push. Hey, get by me before I hit the corner, please. I don't know why I didn't take the line like that the uh, first couple of laps. See, I'm so used to the Panos GTR 1 and all its quirks and stuff and and having to worry about curbs. It's it's weird going back. <laughs> there, you, oh, you, okay, so once you hit the wall and go to zero, if you use the handbrake, you can turn really sharply. Might be able to get second here. No. Final checkpoint. More important than the nice. Definitely could have won that one. Uh, that first lap was awful, where I was trying to figure out what to do. Why did this Mustang not go? I guess it was because I was making contact with it. No, I want... I want to push. Thank you. Might have lost more time than I could gain. Don't jump on me. See you later, partner. I'm gonna just take this corner really wide. I don't think it's worthwhile to actually get it turned in. All of the handbrake usage and the wall usage there. So where would I be in a normal run? <laughs> that was worth it, actually. That, that wall hit there. Well, I guess I got, got some long straights. I'll get up my world record run and see what it would be. I didn't have enough speed to need to use the wall there. My poor Mustang buddy got away. To wait until the next straight now. Oh, too much handbrake. Not enough angle there, and I paid the price. So normally, 30-something game minutes.
I got enough speed there. That's unusual. I must have, I must have missed a shift. Uh, last lap or something. 37.51 was my Alley Cats time. That's 8 of 10 Blitz races uh, would be done in the time where I am right about now. And I've still got three circuits and some three circuits and seven, eight blitzes behind. So 11 events behind already. It's now a race to the finish line. Don't take this the wrong. With your final lap, the English circle ends. Dispersed other glories it included. My circ my finish circuits time was thirty-three thirty-three in the GTR one. Already five minutes ten seconds behind that and I've still got the uh, three events to go. Probably. Turn. The mirror on. Oh, I really paid the price for that one. Let go of my controller for one second. I said push. It's going to use me. Guess I deserve it, but. Not that uh, I'll need him for much longer. Might be looking at a collision, yep. And that's the first time I've seen a curb really affect this thing too. That's uh, that's interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna get that good arc in, but I'm worried about traffic. I mean, I can just go through anything like butter. Oh, I'm gonna win this race, I think. One fifty. Fifty seconds slower than a good first lap normally. Unreal. I have so little to do. I, I have so much time to prepare for corners. Correct. Oh my god. Well, I guess you can't quite see my mirror. I'll have to change that if I do another run. But yeah, I keep taking out guys behind me. Instead of seeing my mirror, you get to see the left part of my mirror and my face. <laughs> oh, blistering, 133. Surprised it was that much faster, come to think of it. Did I miss a cut or something? Well, I guess I had that collision, 
with the Mustang that kind of goofed up my later section. I had several collisions, come to think of it. And plus, you're going through all the the uh, first lap debris that kind of always makes it slower than usual anyways. But yeah, this track's a, a real beast uh, in the actual all, ra all races run. It's, uh, it's kind of pathetic, uh, like, the lack of checkpoint placement that, that led to the enormous cuts here, but uh, it's it's a big pain because you're going over so many curbs, and you have to go over this just in the right way in the GTR one, or else it doesn't work. It's similar over here. You've got like a maybe a one car, one and a half car widths to fit your car through, and you have to not be turning, and there's all sorts of different requirements for not uh, getting stopped by the curb. This is probably one of the ones that I've been least looking forward to in the bus because this thing, like this track, is not meant for a vehicle of this size. This thing's a wide president. Well, I guess a long president, um, more specifically. And it's so narrow and you've got, yeah, you've just got all of the, like, over 90 degree or 90 degree corners. This one should be interesting. Nice. That worked out surprisingly well. I was a little worried about whether or not how well it would fit in uh, the alleyway there, but... Again, I might be able to win this one against uh, Roadsters. I think it's Fans Roadsters in the Aston Martins. DB7 Vantage or whatever. Oh, yeah. You'd definitely be able to win. I didn't expect to be competing this early on into uh, a lap. I meant to hit the hand brake. Excuse me, just changing my camera 16 times in one second. was worried about the angle there, so I threw in loads of handbrake, and I kept a surprising amount of my speed. I didn't expect to still be going 50 or 60 or whatever I exited that corner with. So, yeah, the problem is you got to turn in so late because the back will... still get a push from these guys because they've got literally nowhere to go. Alright, see you later, boys. And that should be the last I see of them because I think they're too far back to Catch me again, lap three. <laughs> A one thirty one. This track is a lot of fun when you can get it right, though. It's it's kind of unlike anything else in in the game where it's 
it's technical, but it's not with like kind of silly obstacles. I also really like oh boy, uh, Midtown Mayhem because uh, there's elevation changes and it's technical um, and like with all sorts of different corners. But the, the just sort of the variation in angles at the corners in this one's pretty neat. Even more so if you do it the traditional route, or the uh, the the route that's kind of meant to be played instead of uh, the fastest one. Weird that it tipped there. I don't know whether I just turned in too hard or whether I clipped the wall with the rear, maybe. Again, it's hard to see where the rear of this thing's ending up. Alright, strap in, because this is going to be a long one. Uh, if I can hopefully, maybe just maybe I can sub 8 minute. But um, I did a check kind of before uh, finalizing how this run was going to work uh, today on just to, to make sure that the city bus was the slowest vehicle possible because it's not necessarily the slowest in a straight line and it's not the longest either. Uh, I imagine the fire truck would be harder on some maps but I think for the most part the fire truck is a little bit uh, uh, better at turning, and the double decker bus, even though you'd think, even though it's actually sl five miles an hour slower than the city bus in terms of top speed, um, it has a little bit better acceleration, a little better, bit better uh, uh, get up and go, uh, and it's actually quite nimble in the corners. Like it's kind of weird how they made that thing. It just kind of swivels on an axis. Uh, and the Freightliner Sentry's got six gears and it's actually got plenty of grunt to go along with it. So this thing uh, is, I'd say, almost certainly the slowest uh, in the game. The fire truck, maybe on acceleration, is a little bit slower, but it seems to, once you get up to speed, it kind of climbs a little faster. Like it, it's got better get up and go at the top end. Uh, and it's better in the corners. Plus, if you knock off the rear section of the fire truck, you can actually just really zip around. It's, uh, it's, it's, it gets very uh, much more nimble to drive, and uh, length no longer becomes a problem. So, for the uh, for the most painful gaming experience, I figured the and for uh, kind of knowing that this would be almost certainly the slowest vehicle uh, I'd say this is this is the the city bus is the one to go with plenty of other cars with similar top speeds though the mini Cooper uh, I think tops out around 104 105. Uh, the Mini Cooper Classic, that is. Um, the LTV and the Ford F-350 are around this speed as well, but they get up to speed a hell of a lot quicker. And they are, I mean, miles nimbler and and turn better and so on. Why did I... I should have just went straight there. Weird that... That's an interesting quirk, because I put the bus parallel with the curb there and slid into it, and it made me hit the curb. But with the GTR1, if you do that, you'll slide over the curb perfectly, whereas if you go straight into it, you'll, you'll hit it. That's definitely an interesting thing there. But yeah, I should have kind of just went straight and uh, tried to carry as much 
speed around even if I went wide and I think I lost a little bit of time that way definitely the eight minute uh, I think the eight minute uh, times now in jeopardy because I need to gain eight seconds over the course of the the two laps in order to get that done I think So again, I think it's around 33 minutes. Uh, 33 minutes would be how long it would normally take me to do it. I'll check once I get on a straight part of this straight. Yep, 3333 is my world record in the GTR1. And I've got another two and a half, three minutes left to go. Try to carry as much speed through. Let's see how it works out on the lap time, I guess. Because that was very wide. That was the only thing there. Are the Roadsters done yet? You'd think they've got to be, right? There they are. Okay. Yeah, now they're finishing up. And there's all of them, so it's just me now. I was worried about the angle. Rather do that than come to a complete stop. Nice. Well, this is going to need to be a quick one in order to do the sub eight minute. Trying to get it set up to figure out when I finished blitzes. Fifty five I think <laughs> I think my uh I'd almost I'd be coming to the end of San Francisco circuits, I think. So yeah, thirty three thirty three in the world record. 56, 25-ish, yeah. 757, I think, overall there. So I did beat the 8-minute. I got a nice last now, lap there. Alright, Blitz is time. Will I even be able to technically win this one?
39.35 was my blitz time. Weird, the traffic patterns are completely different from what I'm used to. I don't know if they're gonna beat this. <laughs> so, this might be the first technical blitz. Oh, no, I'm gonna make it. Okay. Pretty close. 59.23 would be my San Francisco circuit. Time. I'm gonna do this this way. Because it's easier than you turning. I can't believe I got that. I thought I missed it. Uh, the bus. Um, and then, like, needing to do a 90 degree corner at the end. Oh, look at this. Easy. So many strategies on Tower Tour. Uh, there's a lot on Hide and Go Seek available too, but I think uh, I think this one's the the quickest. I wonder with with the bus, just because of how much you need to carry speed, whether or not it'd be faster to bring it around the long way. Now, remember that the okay, I'm def I, I'm almost certain that I'm gonna it's gonna fail this uh, blitz, but at least it fit mostly. <sighs> Wanted to get a push. So it's 5930, yeah, 5923, I'd be done the San Francisco circuits. Normally, so I'm not even halfway through the London Blitzes. So, uh, 15 races behind at this point. And I'm only 12 plus 10 plus 5 is 27 in and I'm 15 back. Just gotta watch out that I don't get hit by a train because they might come from a, a spot that I'm not familiar with. Curious, yeah, does the splitter work on blitzes that you fail? Oh, right. I did not realize that. Because I didn't technically complete it, I'm gonna have to go to the menu every time. Welcome to London, England! Lovely. <laughs> be able to get this one. It's going to be close. No, not quite. Take a last good look at these beautiful cars, racing fans. The law of entropy suggests that they will not look this good in about three minutes or so. I guess if you were ever to find a, a way to 
to win one of the ones that you previously couldn't, uh, it would be a massive time save. Also, I, I think I just realized that I misspelled this, because yeah, it's Crosstown Sprint, not Crosstown Spring, uh, in my split timer, but no big deal. Excuse me. Huh. Didn't think this one was doable. But there you go. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, no. It's in Midtown Mash. I don't even know. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, okay. Not 100% sure how it works. I'm sure I'm warping through walls and stuff, but. The tourists on board that bus are going to get a rather different view of London than most of our out of town visitors. I'm very curious how this is going to work. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to reverse out. Oh, look at that J turn. This one's almost beatable. I think it is beatable. Tell us why I put this down. That was. The tourists on board that bus are going to get. That'll be some time save for anyone else who uh, wants to attempt it, I guess. Nothing like uh, one minute six, sorry, one hour six minute London, or whatever this is gonna be. A little longer than that, actually. I need to make up time in San Francisco. But San Francisco's the longer one, I thought. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh. We have a it's time to win this race. Just ignore the buzzer. They can wait till after the race to get off. 
Is that? Ignore the buzzer. They can wait till after the race to get off. That sounds kind of dirty. Huh. Oh, I'm big dumb. I am huge dumb. She was telling, saying that about the bus. The, like, you ring the bell. Oh, God. I've never heard buzzer. Oh. Bruh. Don't, don't clip this. Turn. You don't want to end up stuck down there, I bet. For real? It's gotta be the nastiest curb I've ever seen, because, again, this bus really doesn't care about curbs, but... Ah, I've gotta love easy 5-10 seconds of time loss. Thirty-nine, thirty-five uh, for London races is what I'm used to. So that's almost exactly half, come to think of it. Because half of... Make sure I stay in here. Uh, a 118.55 would be 39.28-ish. Trying to make sure I missed that curb. I don't know how I could do it so well in the first lap without really knowing. Anyway. Even when you're going slow, apparently, take it easy is a real uh, barnstormer of a race. Yeah, 39.28. Or 27, I guess. 39.27, so it's only 8 seconds longer and then the other one must be eight seconds shorter so overall there's 16 seconds of difference that's that's surprisingly minimal uh so san francisco's shorter of course there's i think there's more it's more like highway and straight sections where arguably i might actually lose more than in the corners with this thing so it'll be interesting to see uh, obviously, I think two hours is out of the woods now. Uh, two hours, 15 minutes is a maybe. More likely, more like two hours, 20, or if we go based off of the other stuff, maybe two hours, 18. Or just barely sub two hours, 18, like a two hours, 17. Oh, it's painful to climb that hill. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, nice. Hello, can I push? Stabilize, please. Although I lost some speed, and that's going to make this uphill even more brutal than usual. Ain't nothing like going 27 miles an hour in a speed run. I couldn't even get the push.
just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to cut into him. That guy scared me. I think this would be about when I'd be done the checkpoints. Not quite. Blitzes don't take as long as I think they do. Must just feel like it. But in an actual all races run, hang time is uh, a really big make or break one. Because if you flip over or you crash in a weird spot, uh, and you have to like for instance reset more than once like this is the only one where I say like it you mandatorily have to like it's You you could probably in theory do the race without dying But it, it would cost so much time trying to avoid Hitting all the bumps and and smashing along the ground and you might not, it might not even be possible with the GTR one, I'm not sure. But it's the only one, yes, the only race in the campaign where I'd say like you have to die at least once. So you want to strategically plan it out so that you're kind of max, uh, well first of all you're not like losing distance or, or, or causing yourself to have to go further when you die so you you want to do it kind of right at the very end of a lap type thing uh, and then actually cover distance with your your dead corpse don't uh, phrasing on that's a little messed up but you know what I mean Gimme Soma is an interesting one. Uh, it was uh, one of my favorites as a kid because it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's simple. It's flowing. Uh, it was kind of one that I I hunted amongst myself. And I remember, kind of as a as a kid, I was probably a little older when I started like kind of hunting like hunting like against my own PB type thing in this game. I was more like 10, 11 uh, in that area when I started doing that, but I remember, like, the, kind of the magic barrier was the 130 mark, because if you could, if you could do that, then you were doing, uh, like an average of a 30 second lap, which, you know, it felt like the, the benchmark of the time, so when I started speedrunning, uh, like, this year, and when I, uh, there, at the time when I started, there wasn't actually any records for this track, I don't think, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but I figured probably the, like, 130 was was attainable for sure, obviously, because I'd, I'd done it. But I figured maybe 128 was, like, the absolute limit on the track. And I'm not sure what it is now. I think it, it, what, 124, 125, something like that. It's several seconds faster than that though and that's just unreal I cannot believe that it's been optimized that much wait I'm lapping people <laughs> okay <laughs> that is not something I expected to do today uh, well, on the city bus run Uh, this one might need some alternative strategies. So 111.15 would be my normal time of completing um, the checkpoint section, not even the circuit section. Circuit section's around a 59.20 something or whatever. Uh, Alright. Just that hill's so steep. I don't know what happened there. It's definitely got to be faster to go around. That's painful. Oh my god, that's... Oh, I better not get stuck. That's a danger too. Yeah, I am not playing with that next time. How the hell am I going to do Lombard Lunacy? 
I think I'm going to have to go to the top of the hill and go backwards or something to grab them. Oh, that's going to be a mess. I guess I'll give it one more go up the, up the traditional cut way, and if it doesn't work out, I'll... Do it the normal way. <laughs> Are you serious? I was just trying to keep some speed, man. Well, I guess if there's a time to try it. Okay, yeah, we're going the long way. It's because that the awnings there, I think, mess me up. Man, to think... <laughs> what is the world record? Like a 140-something? Like, just, just barely in the 140s? Like a 141? And, you know, it's just, this is a slow track. You never really get that much speed. That guy's stuck in a loop. Um, man, I'm about to get whacked. Well, moment of truth, I guess. Let's see how much time I, uh, I lost by doing it the traditional, or attempting to do it the traditional way. on the first lap, and first and second laps. Unless I can... Why did I not commit to going the long way? I didn't see any awnings, so I figured it would be better. Man, this isn't a whole lot faster, is it? Holy moly. So, <laughs> this is like a, like a sub two minute for sure, uh, like a 150 would be a, a nice time. Oh, really? The curb? That was nearly enough to kill the bus, and it literally took over double the time. I committed too hard. That one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Glad it's over. Glad it's over. Don't, yeah, I'm going to have to do Lombard Lunacy backwards. And then, like, go around or something. All right, yeah, I guess the backwards might just be the easiest way. That way you don't have to double back on yourself. Uh, ooh, excuse him. Wow, oh my god. <laughs> Please, there's no wall. I'm gonna say uh, San Francisco is gonna be slower than London because London's flat, like pancake flat. Like, and it would affect me in the GTR1 as well, to an extent. But I mean, this is, this is pretty painful. Normally, yeah, this track is very, very fun, though. Um, 
It's like kind of like a dream street circuit. Go over this curb. Yeah, I can use the wall there, okay. But there's no wall here, so. One twenty one already, eh? Yeah, I'd be done the run, nice. Oh, it'd be bad to miss a checkpoint. <laughs> turning around and turning around again on an uphill. No bueno. Check a message on my phone. Can't do this normally during a speed run, that's for sure. It's the same Discord group. Jesus. I'm surprised they were only that far in front of me. So much speed! Flat ground! And the acceleration on the... The downhills is nice too. Oh, whoops, got a split. Dude, don't let the clouds get you down. Turn that frown upside down. Getting a big push from a Mustang GT. You gotta go for the <laughs> the speed run strat of just sending it into the wall. Oh, I was still getting pushed. Wow. A beetle in this race? What do they expect happens to it? Jeez. Alright. I'm sorry, friend. Okay. Get on your wheels. I think I just got hit by the Mustang. Let's see if I can get a push. Oh. It doesn't get better than, better than that, folks. <laughs> That feeling when you complete a test, uh, when you or like when you find like a missing key or or a cell phone, no, no, getting pushed by a Ford Mustang GT <laughs> on Chinatown, real shit. <laughs> it's also pretty insane how uh, Niliki and. Zatrix or X, uh, Atrix, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I'll just call you X. Um, <laughs> I have hunted this one down to 
intense and even beyond. Really down to hundreds, I think, at this point. Yeah, definitely getting the push is more worthwhile than kind of going off track. Come on. at first there. Oh, don't spin me. It's one of the few vehicles big enough to spin me, I think, is the, uh, the F-150. Why are you breaking? That was a bad idea. Should have stayed on the road. I need to see what I'm looking at here. Okay. I can beat these F-150s. Definitely can't beat the other guys. I was worried about getting that one. Other than the start of it, that was a good lap. Oof. Those big heavy poles. Even on a city bus. Uh, in a city bus, I guess. They're painful. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really... <laughs> Uh, keep as much speed as I thought I might by doing the normal route there. It's just, it's an uphill, so it's gonna mess you up no matter what, I guess. Is fourth possible in a GTR1, though? Presidio is a bit of a nightmare. There's. Lots of curbs to hit, and the grass is just, like, so slippery. It's just waiting to spin you out and get you caught, and it takes forever uh, to get that going again. Once you're spun out, because you're in the grass, so it's just it's just spinning the tires. 129.15, oh, I guess that's... Uh, we're now past... Uh, well past the point of my uh, some of my original m maybe my very first ever uh, all races run getting back into the the game after a number of years was around this time might have even no I think I think it was a little slower than this actually maybe like a 133. Uh, real game, uh, like RTA rather than so. So the bottom timer. Square dancing is a real, uh, probably the closest to a meme track. Well, I guess hang time. Hang time and this are the probably the definitely like the closest to meme tracks in the game because this jump. Uh, oh, hello, tram. I think this vehicle might be heavy enough to knock him off the rails, too, which is interesting. But yeah, you can get some big uh, bounces on the bottom of that jump that I just went over. <laughs> Keep hitting trees on the side of the road while being on the road just because of how tall this the bus is.
That is what I hope to avoid. How did I miss? This thing's so big, I would have figured the rear would have gone through if, even if I missed on the front, but... Curbs when you land are always a bad thing in this game because I don't know whether there's semi-realistic suspension travel or what's going on, but the, they're definitely more of a problem when you land jumps oh, and stuff, which actually, well, I mean, it makes sense. Well, cars in general wouldn't survive jumps like this, obviously, in real life, but I guess it makes the same as hitting a, a big bump or, or whatnot. Have a great race, but always remember that peace, love, and happiness are your biggest priority, dude. Bye, <laughs> Audi TTs and Roadsters. I think that'll be the last time I see them. For this race, obviously. I'll see them for about three and a half seconds at the beginning of Panos Pressure. Uh, sorry, not sorry, of Florit, I guess. Uh, uh, right, I'm in the circuit still. Before they zip off into the distance, the uh, Panos Roadsters. Ugh, uh, 45 miles an hour. to shift, but it doesn't matter because I'm going downhill anyways. This corner is going to be a uh, doozy. Oh, well, I guess it isn't when you're going 40. <laughs> Tree did that. This track's pretty neat, too, overall. The most technical of the uh, San Francisco circuits, for sure. I guess it's its version of Soho Mojo. Yeah, they always have the, the kind of the uber technical uh, one second to last, and... Then the, the the big, the large fast one, uh, last. They definitely didn't make Florit as big as they could have, though. Like in London, it covers like a, a big section of the map, really. Uh, bigger, definitely a lot bigger than, uh, than Florit. Although maybe maybe it just feels that way. Maybe, uh, obviously, there's not like really a distance measurement thing, but Florit maybe has a higher average speed than Sandy Zigzag because it's got that big back straight. But other, other than that, it's a little. Eh, you hit 200 miles an hour on the kind of the midway through the lap too, though. I don't know. It's definitely a tricky one. I wish there was uh, a measurement tool. There might even be on like uh, MM2X or uh, uh, MMX2. Well, anyway, one of the Midtown Madness 2 websites. Um, maybe there's a, a distance measurement tool or an average speed tool that can be used to determine how long uh, these maps are. Of course, if you're like me and you you like the metric system, uh, 
I wonder if there's like a kilometers an hour tool or or whether the distance tools in 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 metric units uh, as well because I mean it's convertible it's not that hard at the end of the day to convert between miles and kilometers and meters and stuff but it would save a, a smidgen of time I definitely got enough time for um, a few sips here. Ooh, I was worried about the curb there. That would have been devastating, especially on the uphill. <sighs> really now? You're really going to do that to me? Okay. Hmm. In the all races one, I, w I run. I wonder, like, I don't know whether you can carry enough speed to kind of consistently jump that gap. Because, like, obviously, like, my conservative strat is, uh, st and I think most people's, uh, like uh, X's, uh, like say Trix's, uh, strategy is just to slow down and, and cut in past the intersection uh, where the, the curb is lower. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, the other thing with is that like cars in this game kind of jump a little strangely, and so, especially I think the GTR 1 where... I wouldn't say it's down for us because I doubt the game has incorporated like physics that way, but something like it uh, keeps you more on the ground sometimes, uh, more more than others. Like sometimes when you go off a jump, you'll get airtime more than others. So I'm not sure whether uh, it would be good enough to like consistent enough to to go for just a jump in and then once you have that you you you're on the grass with an enormous amount of speed you don't want to turn that much i'm sure with the car because of because you'll spin out very easily so i don't know yeah you'd need a way of scrubbing off speed very quickly or because there's the, like, the buildings in the middle that you, you'll want to avoid, and... I don't know. Like, right here. Ooh, I almost hit him. I might have actually just tapped it or something, but... Again, uh, I'm surprised the AI are just finishing now. It's like I, I've only just barely hit 100 miles an hour on this track. And like normally, I guess a good time around here is what 205 to no, no more like 215, 220. Uh, in the GTR one. I guess I just didn't realize how. Ooh, nice. Remember, nice. turn in a little late. <laughs> uh, I hope it doesn't get stuck on this. Ooh, it kind of did, but I'm okay. Can I get a push? Am I going to come second? I think I am. Wow, we're going to the pretty. Let's try. I'm not quite sure. Mm, 
deck the hall. It's the bane of my existence because you can never figure out how to get over the, the first curb. Right, and I guess normally people can't either, but... Yeah, this one uh, has been the source of a, a good amount of time loss in, uh, in most of my runs, I'm sure. Uh, less so uh, lately, I've just kind of like figured out the ending bits a lot more, but it used to be like I'd crash two or three times in in runs. And so like because of that, I'd say it's definitely up there as one of my least favorite uh, checkpoint races in the game. Oh, I used the limiter to take out the uh, the heavy pull there. That was good. But yeah, that curb there. I think uh, like the one right at the start of the corner uh, on the outside can be nasty. There's always a traffic car kind of right when you want to turn in here. There's that scary entrance that you you want to avoid be uh, becoming part of. If this guy crashes. I might win. No. It can still happen. Avoidance by an AI car? Impossible. <laughs> this race is going to be off the hook, I'm telling you. Is there anybody behind me? No. <laughs> So normally, at this point, I think I'd have around 17 minutes, 30 seconds left in the run. I would need, <laughs> considering I have 17 minutes, 30 seconds left uh, before two hours, uh, two hours ain't happening. <laughs> stuck on his roof. Ooh, I can get some... Oh, I wanted the push from that guy. What? I guess it would have been tricky predicting which way they uh, were going to go through traffic anyways, and I still might beat some of these guys. Gonna be close against this truck for third. Now nah, he's got me. Final checkpoint. Come on. It's lunchtime, so try not to knock the sandwich out of anybody's hand. At least I kept more speed for the hill. Well, obviously you're coming in at a 90 degree angle uh, for for it normally in in like uh, the really hilly one. Jesus, a hang time. Yeah. You're driving with a Ooh, I almost hit race menu. It's time to win this race. Just ignore the buzzer. <laughs> this this beetle. There might be a few races like this where uh, the margins are pretty close because they don't really expect anyone to to use something like the city bus. It's funny, is that because an ambulance, not the ambulance, the fire truck might, might be longer. I might have to see whether or not that kind of glitches them backwards or find out what the the game does with these sort of edge cases 
Hey, I want your push. Now we're going for the finish. Should have shifted. Whoops. You're driving with. Remember the 1967 Summer of Love? No, I don't remember the 67 Summer of Love. I guess he didn't either. <laughs> oh crap, I should've... Oh, I could've got a push. Dang. Oh, you... He didn't move. Had to happen. I can get a push from this caddy. Look at this. Oh, okay. Notes to self. Don't do that. Okay, I'm up. I was worried. That's some time loss. I just, I didn't, I didn't expect the, well, I was going downhill and I was being, I wasn't expecting to go into that uh, over a hundred miles an hour though. And, uh, definitely paid the, oh my god, two minutes. Now, for this race. This, one, this is normally like a 50 second one. Okay. You are the checkpoint master, okay? And these punks are just checkpoint slaves here to worship you. Oh. Ooh. Runs fatigue setting in now. <laughs> Normally it's kind of just after San Francisco Circuit, or right at the end of San Francisco Circuit, where run fatigue sets in in an actual run. But this is far longer at this point, 1 hour 48. Not that this is that, like, this isn't exactly an intensive run, but it's just sitting at a computer for that. Long without changing, uh, kind of anything that's going on. It's funny, because I want to do much longer runs. I want to, I want to casually kind of give Need for Speed Underground a, a speed run, or, or a flat out two, uh, maybe a, a speed run. But those are, or, or maybe even Grand Theft Auto 5. But those are like incredibly long uh, in comparison to this I mean the world record for GTA 5 now we're going for the for, on, give me more push uh, for GTA 5 for example it's just barely uh, for classic percent is just under six hours realistically <laughs> like eight or nine for me, like, not knowing all the, even cl close to all the strategies. Or the optimal way to do different missions, or, or, or the optimal routes. Uh, like, there's all sorts of complex stuff, I'm sure. Even with Flat Out 2, like, I think the, what, what's the world record for 100%? Like, 7 hours? Like, it's a, it's a full day. Or like a like a work shift, like uh, pretty much. And like as someone new to the game, I can expect to be well, not necessarily new, because I've played all of these games. 
But as someone who knew to speed running the game, I'm sure I'm not really going to be all that close. So I guess you just kind of got to get used to it. But So that lookout strategy of going to get that first checkpoint, uh, sorry, the, the last checkpoint first and then doing the rest of the route to, to save a good amount of distance uh, traveled and, and, and time as a result. That was, I believe that was found by uh, X, like Zatrix. Check All things considered, given this is a, a pretty quick high speed race normally, the fact that I'm this close, can you this cop get off my case? I almost finished sixth there. Like it was, it must have been pretty close, I'll have to go back and check. It's probably like a tenth or two. Yeah, there's a car right behind me. He's trying, but I'm, that's a light car. Oh, God, no. Don't let him go just yet. He's spinning his wheels so much, I don't even know whether it's helping. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this is something you normally don't have to deal with in a 100% run. Except for the ones where there's uh, jumps, because then they can get in front of you or hit you. I think I got a, a really good push from one in, in one of the races in my uh, my world record for all races. But Definitely, you see these guys a whole lot more in this run. Really, that didn't stop him. Okay. Hopefully, they can give me a bit of push. I think three is the max that will load. Man, all these races that take just over a minute are uh, other endurance. <laughs> That's for sure. In the in the uh, in the city bus, I say that like I've um, again, like I, w I was talking about how one hour fifty three is long. I did a twenty four hour race uh, at one point with well, it was with the help with the help of three others, of course. It was a team of four, and we did the twenty four hours of uh, Le Mans in in I racing doing uh, th two three-hour stints each, roughly. I'm getting pushed by uh, our, our blue friend. Oh. Bye, blue man group. I think my humor is getting less funny over the course of this as well. But yeah, I think, uh, now that I think about it, with I think I just don't game enough. <laughs> Gotta work on that stamina. These are rookie numbers. <laughs> this poor Audi. Might have a chance at another push, and that is not something I expected. guy dead? Oh wait, no, yeah, they have like weird alternate routes that don't even really make any sense. Oh, get wrecked. Oh my god. TKO out of nowhere. 
Oh yeah, they like they come down and they do the circle that way. I don't know. I'm not sure how it'd be faster. I guess at the end you're going faster, but it's not that long of a straight to the finish. I'll take fifth. I hate the get in front of any of the my friends out here still probably beat one or two of them somehow because I think some of them yeah some of them go left and then make uh, do like a right left at the at the wide bit and then some go like through the building and so it's kind of neat how they how they did that how how they have different routes it does it does add like kind of uh, a layer of unknown to it, especially for, like for instance in the last one, like you wouldn't expect to come face to face with another car, like uh, head on. But it, yeah, it, it makes you you practice the different route routes that are are available, and and, and kind of find the, the the ones that work for you. Uh, well, for you and, and that are the, the fastest. And obviously there's cuts that they aren't, they aren't programmed to do, but that adds a, a layer of, for the speedrunning community, I guess. So. Well, it's been two hours in real life since I started. Forgot to split. Hey, the only full moon I want to see is the one in the sky. Keep your pants on. Last of the checkpoints. This one will be a while. If I can do it, because you average so, like the average speed is so high here. And what's the world record? Like a 145, and there's got to be like a what? Almost two? No, I wouldn't say um, like like probably an average of 170, 180 miles an hour for sure though. Um, so I'd say double the time. Let's say 315, 330. One thing I did check is that going this way does actually seem to cut off a little bit of time. I, I checked it because I wanted to see the slowest vehicle that I could possibly like win the race with. Oh, I'm going to get a push. No. No, I tried. It could only last so long. Anyway, I tried it in a London cab, and I think it's a... It can be up to a couple, like a second and a half, two seconds faster, I think. At least with that. With the panels GTR1, obviously that section is so sketchy, and the, the margins are so thin here in terms of uh, dying and not dying, um, and, and and it's a run killer, of course. Um, that yeah, you'd never want to bother with that. But with a slower car where you've got more control, where there's less kind of glitchy stuff with the ground happening, uh, yeah, it's the way to go. Yeah, it's the, it's definitely like the ones where you're going on the Golden uh, Gate Bridge with the panels GTR1 that are, are some of the scariest points in the run because, I mean, really? Oh, I made the corner, <laughs> but um, because like there's that bump at the end that will send you flying and it's kind of like sometimes it won't send you flying at all sometimes it will send you 10 15 feet in the air and you'll come down and you'll be sideways and all out of shape and if you crash at that speed uh you are likely to die especially uh like because races like panels pressure and golden uh, golden hour 
uh, the Blitz race. And um, I'm not sure what the what the checkpoint one. Uh, that's the third the third checkpoint race. They're not the cleanest ones to begin with. Goal like the the third checkpoint one's all right, but this one. And the other one, you're coming in, and you you've usually already got a half a bar of damage. And this one, you're lucky if you if you have less than three quarters coming into the final. And so it's it's often worth it to just back off, slow down to below. My go-to is below 170. Uh, is, is my kind of safety net for stopping warping into the ground. Uh, just to make sure that you don't kill the run, because that would be really devastating. Hey, what's that smell? Oh yeah, it's me. I have not showered for days. <laughs> this is going to be very painful. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it, uh, so I'm gonna have to go back to the menu and switch. Of course you want to avoid the awnings too. I got a little confused there. I, I confused hold on tight with deck the hall for some reason I thought I was back at the checkpoints. It's funny, yeah, you can get around that guy no problem with a bus, but handles GTR1, not so much. I don't know whether he stops sooner or whether this thing's low speed turning radius is just like cranked up to 100 to kind of compensate for it being ridiculously bad at turning everywhere else. I don't know. I can't believe I got around him without hitting him. Or at least I think I did. A little hard to tell from this view, but I didn't hear anything that indicated that I might have, so... Arguably, it might be faster the other way, because there's less hills, and you're going to have to deal with less traffic. But this thing can just punch through traffic anyways, so... Just send her. And of course, all the traffic spawns will be a, a bit different, just because... Uh, and then going through this in a, in a vehicle that's of a lot slower than I'm used to. It's not that different. It seems like they load the same cars at the same time. It's just like it takes me a little bit extra time to get there after the traffic cars spawn in. So sometimes they'll, like for instance, you'd never, in the panels GTR1, you'd, you'd never really experiencing experience the light turning green for the, the cars coming your way. gonna be close Ooh. I hope you're ready for some mind -blowing this one uh, here. Yeah, not gonna happen I don't think so it's funny golden race uh, it killed one of my faster runs uh, when I was practicing for the for the all races category because there's a car it's not at this intersection but it's at the next one it's, that's usually there and sometimes it'll turn right sometimes it'll turn left uh, and it turned left when I was going by in the this kind of the center meet like along the yellow line completely goof me uh, and like you're going like 150, over 150 miles an hour through this section uh, on a good day, but like it cost me most, like uh, half my health, and I was going through it at like 70 miles an hour, 
and like sliding all over the place trying to get going again. And what ended up happening is I ended up on the highway and I was swerving my way through traffic trying to make up for it. Um, and yeah, I swerved too much. I got a ground warp, which kind of spun me around. I hit the side of like the curb. Um, and then I immediately, it was right at that part of the of the end of the highway where there's the jump and I got like a bounce as well and it killed the car so and that's like that's a that's that's a dead run I mean that's over a minute lost so I had to train myself I practiced and practiced golden race at like just to try and learn like how the the traffic responded and that one car back at the back at the start the one that sometimes turns left sometimes turns right it's so unpredictable that i just decided i'll let off and let him turn before i come by i'm not sure why i'm going this way to be honest but it's probably a bad idea anyway But by, yeah, by letting off and like breaking for a split second, you allow him to make the turn, get out of your way, and then you're, you're set kind of for the rest of the run. So it, it may it costs a second or two, like maybe half a second to a second, but it's, it's, it'll save you every time. And so you'll see that uh, if you look at the, the, the world record run. Presidio push. That curb there, the one that I just passed over, is a, a real uh, SOB in the in the actual run. Can't figure out how to get that one right. I'm sure X has a strat for it. He's hunted the individual level record and and and, and found different strategies for, for instance, skipping that water uh, bit for the sake of time save. So. I'm sure he might know a, a strategy to get by that curb. I'm definitely anticipating uh, like the, the All Races World Record getting beaten by X, and then having to maybe go after it again. But it might it'll be it would be a fun fight, uh, I think. And I don't, I don't know whether I have what it takes to uh, go get it back again. But um, like if it was beaten. Or whether I have the patience for it, at the very least, but I think it would be interesting. But yeah, I, I had to. The another weak point um, that I had to practice a lot was just the San Francisco blitzes in general. The the whole Golden Race, Presidio Push, Amazing Grace, Lombard Lunacy, uh, like like honestly, all the entire thing. There's there's so much time to be gained and lost. And I, I just didn't have very good technique, honestly, through it. Or I'd push too hard and get myself into trouble. For instance, I try to leap directly into the thing, but if there's a if there's a truck there like that, you'll get bounced out and you won't be able to even get in to it. And then you'll have to turn around and it's that you'll have to go back up the hill and then make a 180 in. And I used to go down and off to the right, right there instead of going here and there's so much less traffic there's always a huge pile of traffic at the bottom of the hill on the other street and then it's e very easy to miss checkpoints in this section oh i was in i was on track to beat this one i don't know whether i am anymore oh my god go yeah definitely not oh brutal Definitely curious how this one's gonna go. I don't think I can do it. I'll give it a quick go. Oh, this is incredibly painful. I don't know whether it'd be that efficient the other way, though. Okay, I need to reposition. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, 
grab it. Come on. I don't want to have to turn around and go up. <sighs> Holy moly, there's got to be ways to time save that. Yeah, it's, it's it must be faster to go around or something. I A minute something, a minute and a half? What was that to do that? Unreal. Okay, so it's not going to be able to... T uh, is it? I doubt it. I doubt this is fast enough to make the jump, but you know what? You got to try. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this thing low enough to get up? Yeah, okay. I was worried that, like... I might have just found, like, an impossible thing right at the end of the run. But, uh, happy to see that it is indeed possible. That, that was a little scary, if I'm honest. Other than that, I guess the strategy would have been, back, like, kind of go turn around, uh, go back, uh, gather speed, and then do the jump, and then maybe it's makeable. But I don't think that's... Uh, that would save any time from the the strat I just well the the strat um, of just going through the building, the the traditional one I guess I don't know. Well, it's funny I never noticed the the jump ramp before I noticed but before I watched someone in, like do an individual level run of this game. Even in like even in some of my all races like my obsolete all races runs. Um, I believe I did the long way around. So. I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Dude, your vehicle is making my head spin. Go with traffic or smash your way through in a shorter distance. Definitely gotta go smash way through. You could almost call it Smash Mouth. Haha, <laughs> okay. This one's a bit of a doozy. You can, yeah, you can gain so much uh, or lose so much time by smashing into vehicles you just want to you want to thread the gaps perfectly or use the curbs like uh like use the sidewalk rather uh to your advantage what the hell was that what did i hit uh, a mean curb of some sort or something like that and of course it was right before an uphill so you know like i just lost all of my momentum, all of it. Every momentum. You have never seen more momentums go away. You know what? I just started thinking about Co Coit Nightmare and how much of a nightmare it's going to be with this thing. Hmm, what's my goal here? Uh, I guess sub 216. These hills are gonna be... Really, I had to hit a curb. But, like, how else am I... 
Okay, it'll go. I don't know whether going around is faster in this thing. Like... One more. Abs... Please. Don't go in the water. <laughs> okay. No, it's a bit faster than first. What a way to end. <laughs> Instead of that big city one? Ah, uh, two hours, fifteen minutes, forty three point eight nine seconds. Two hours twenty RTA. Almost an hour slower than with a Panos GTR one. Like almost literally double the time. Uh, like closing in on that. Well, that's city bus percent, and if uh, for some reason uh, you're a masochist like, like I am, uh, and you want to give it a try, um, I'll see if I can get uh, this approved as a miscellaneous category on speedrun.com for Midtown Madness 2, uh, and uh, you can uh, enjoy the pain that I just did, and uh, I'm sure there's lots of places to cut off some time and and uh, and grind away if if that's something you want to do. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, for listening if you if you and watching if you still are and uh, I'll see you later on.